Today, we talking Stargate. Nerd Soul. Late ill kid at one youngster, hold it down, bring that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people? Today, uh, yeah, we coming with another wonderful episode, and it's a special episode of Dropping Jewels. During the week, stuff goes on, we can't catch it all. But today, oh boy, today, we are talking about, of course, Stargate Origins. And a few days ago, I got a chance to chat with the director, Mercedes Bryce Morgan. Hey, MBM? MGM, maybe that's why she's working. It makes sense. Anyway, point is, she's the director. She's you know working on just the shots and the atmosphere and the tone of Stargate Origins. It's part of just like the Stargate lore, SG One, and the movie, and they're putting this in as well to help give us more context about what goes on in this crazy world of walking through circular doorways that have water in them and you don't know what's on the other side, man. Don't go through that. I wouldn't go through that. Why would you go through that? But it's fun to watch other people go through that. Though. And that's the important part. So I got a chance to talk to Mercedes. Great convo. And we got to learn a couple of things about the behind the scenes and just the, the, the general aspect of what they're trying to do. Now, this was a phone call, so sorry guys, I wasn't able to get a video interview for you guys, but we did get a chance to chat on the phone. And without further ado, uh, roll that tape. Stargate Origins is really a bridge between the movie and the show and kind of fills in some of the past of characters like Catherine that we haven't had answers to before. First of all, that Catherine is a leading female protagonist. Um, and so even though there's been a lot of great woman characters in Stargate, this is something that's really unique to this. Um, also, we wanted to shoot it in a different way than some stuff we've seen before. Um, for example, like when they're opening up the gate, um, we have like a shot where it's the POV of the gate being opened. And so really just looking at it in a new, unique way, but still trying to keep what people love about it. Um, and lastly, just trying to keep the humor in it, um, because I know a lot of people that love Stargate, that's what they really like, and they want it to keep, um, and so that was really important to us. All right, that's that's actually exactly where I was going to go. When it comes to the humor, uh, what was the funniest moment on set for you? <laughs> the funniest moment on set? Um... Oh man, there were a lot. I'd say because um, we were speaking different languages, um, it would be really funny because characters would forget their lines in a different language and <laughs> then, you know, curse out an English expletive wow. <laughs> in the middle of a take, which was just funny and just funny for everybody. And so, you know, like we're working these really late nights where we start at 6 p.m. and we finish at 8 a.m. And so, I think it's just like the fact that everyone had just like a very good and positive attitude um, was really just important to that, and we just kept it fun. So um, when you're when you're stepping into uh, when you're stepping into something like Stargate um, that has you know it has a show, it has a movie, it has people that already kind of have felt the lore, and you know even you know fan theories and stuff like that as well. What is something that you wanted to quote like kind of get right? when you did this show? Yeah, I mean, I think this is something that people hold really, really dear to them. Um, and so we really wanted to main, like we really wanted to get the canon right. And like when we wrap it up, we didn't want to do anything that hurts what the universe has already established. And so that was really important to us. And so we had a Stargate expert with us the whole time where we would double, like we would fact check everything. <laughs> yeah. What about Stargate made you want to jump on to this project? Yeah, I think what made me want to jump onto it the most is that I really do love that it's a mix between mythology of ancient cultures and sci-fi. I think it's really cool because it takes two things that are really, really awesome and combines them together, which is like what's really unique about the franchise. Okay, okay. Now, um, when it comes to, I guess, uh, you know, uh, casting... Uh, getting the sets right, things like that. When did uh, when did creating Stargate become real for you? Was it when you were kind of casting? Was it when you stepped on set? Like, what was that moment when you were like, hey, I'm doing this? 
Yeah, yeah. I think it's really because we spent months doing prep, and you know, it's usually me with my department heads, like sitting in a room with our laptops and drawing on whiteboards, and so it doesn't really feel real yet. Um, and even when we're testing, I think the moment where it felt really, really real was when we sat down and we did the table read, and we had all of our cast there and a lot of our crew there, and that's when it just starts. It started to feel really real um, because I could just like see everyone thinking about everything we had planned for the entire time and just actually hearing it come to life. What's a challenge on set, you know, creating this or even in the ideation phase that you didn't see coming? Like for, for our filmmakers out there, yeah. what's something that came out of the blue that you didn't see coming? Yeah, I mean, there's actually a lot of stuff that, because on every set there's stuff that, you know, you plan so much and then there's just stuff that happens. I think like one of the, the funnest stories is when we went on our desert shoot. Um, we, we went on two full day tech scouts. We planned everything we thought was possible. You know, we did storyboards, we did blocking rehearsals and everything. And the first time we went there, it was 110 degrees. And the second time we went there, we were caught in like a sandstorm. <laughs> and so we're like, okay, we know everything that can go wrong. Like we've been through it all and you show up and the weather's actually really nice and it's not that windy. And then we get out there and there's dune buggies everywhere, <laughs> all over the dunes. <laughs> and so here we are trying to sell this as a different time period in a different space and they're everywhere. And so we had to replan completely, you know, and fix them with the effects. Um, but it was just something where it's like on the day, everyone's just like, okay, go, like figure out something new. And so it's just things like that that are out of your control. It just, you know, <laughs> surprise you, but you, you get through it and you make it fun. Understood, understood. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, yeah, it's kind of hard to sell a certain time period when there's dune buggies just <laughs> yeah, exactly. Around. And they would like drive by us and like, you know, messing with us. And <laughs> yeah, it was a good time. Is there any chance of any funny behind the scenes stuff with that or no? Is that all lost in the ether? Um, yeah, there are some funny behind the scenes stuff with that, definitely. Okay. Um, now, when uh, for, for new fans that are coming on or for some old fans, what's something that you want them to get from this uh, entry into the canon. Yeah, um, I think like what I really want people to do is just watch it with an open mind. I know it's like whenever you take any franchise that's really, really dear to people, um, like a lot of people, you know, want a continuation of SG1 and they won't be happy unless they get a continuation of SG1 and this isn't that. Yeah, um, I and I just want them to know like, <laughs> like that's okay, you know, and so they should just be open to what this is and also just know it's like if you support it, then like more Stargate will come, and it's really just like there's really strong fans into it's getting it to other people out there, so that more content comes. Uh, usually, when I have someone on Nerd Soul, I break from regular stuff, and I want to get just a, a general idea of where you're at. So, a quick question for you is, who's your favorite superhero, and why? Yeah, I really love Deadpool a lot um, because I really love that it's like very self-aware. And I love that he's sexually ambiguous as well. I think that's something like really new and refreshing. And I like that it's also like, he's always very comedic the entire time. All right, all right, cool, cool. So a Deadpool fan. This, yeah. I, I, I've gotten a lot of Deadpool fans. Usually it's heavy on the Batman side, but Deadpool gets some love too. So that's cool, that's cool. Now, yeah. um, <laughs> nice. as, as far uh, as, I guess this hopefully won't be a spoiler. Who is someone who is a breakout in this series? For you, um, you mean like a new character? Yeah, like or as or an actor or actress. Yeah. So let me let me pick one that isn't. So yeah, Wasif is one of my favorite characters, and he's played by Siobhan Aladdin, and he's new to the scene, and he did a really wonderful job. It was great because in casting, I really really had to fight for him because I told him I'm like, you guys, he's the one, <laughs> and I know he's right, and so just really like. Fighting for him to be in that role was just something really special for both of us. <laughs> um, and it was cool because this role really changed his life around. And the whole time he was just so thankful to be there. Um, and the first time I met him, like, we were doing stunt rehearsals. <laughs> and so he just jumped onto the trampoline and we just started rehearsing stunts. Um, and it was just 
Yeah, he's my favorite. And there you have it. I hope you guys got all the information you needed or at least enough to pique your interest to check out Stargate Origins. It's gonna be on Stargate Command, MGM's doing their thing. And I'm expecting this to at least give us a, a lot more information, provide some deeper context and give us some stories that we never really thought about seeing in the Stargate world or canon or universe or universes because you're going through the gate, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be fun. I enjoyed it. I got some laughs out of it. So it's it's cool. And I think I think you guys will have a good time checking it out. So, guys, first, I want you to check out Stargate let me know what you think about Stargate Origins. Then, of course, holler at me because I'm going to holler at you. Down in them comments, let's talk about Stargate, what you like, what you want to see, what you think is coming next. And before I bounce, of course, I got to tell you guys to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right. Check me out right there. All my videos from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all that. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. Don't forget to get one for them playettes. Then... Come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right. There's no better way that I can show people that you like what you are watching. So, of course, LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart. And please be good to yourselves. Please be good to each other. And remember, if there's ever a circular doorway that has, like, water shimmering in it, just head the other way. Peace. Peace.